what type of home do you live in? Um, do you rent or own? I own my own brick home. Okay. And it's single family? Yes. Okay. And then what is an approximate date that you moved into your home? About this time last year. Okay. Um, have you always lived in Berrien County? No. Okay. Um, so tell me how you ended up living here in Berrien County. I was born here. Okay. So you're born here in Berrien County, um, and then you moved away and came back? Correct. Okay. Why did you come back? Be closer to home. Found a job here. And your family lives here? Correct. Both sides. Okay. It's pretty neat, um, because I came from a very small town too, and that's why I chose Sparing County. Uh, my family doesn't live here like yours does, but I'm not too far away. Um, I do live in a home that I own as well. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about the home that you live in? You said it was a brick house. Built in 2012, approximately 2,300 square feet. Okay. So the next few questions we're going to ask, this is going to be kind of why you did or did not or will or will not adopt rooftop solar at your house. Um, so my first question is, have you invested in solar either on the rooftop of your home, on your property, or as part of a business or a program through your utility service? I have had solar electric fence boxes, but that's about it. So not on your rooftop for your house or anything no. like that? Okay. So tell me, um, so tell me why you do not have rooftop solar. The investment. Investment. Um, and did you make that decision yourself, or was it made for you? Since the house came without it, I reckon it was made for me. Okay, house came without it. All right. If it was um, available to you, or if you had the option, would you put rooftop solar on your home? And tell me why you would or would not. It would all be dependent upon cost. But if it was cost effective, you would I adopt would. it? Okay. But also allow you to have electricity when the power goes out. That's true. It's very true. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to kind of identify what you think. So I'm going to give you a map of the United States. And on this map, I want you to circle where you think what regions or areas people adopt rooftop solar the most. where there's not a lot of trees and it's sunny and hot. Okay. Um, and what do you think or makes... The desert, you know, different kind of area. Okay, so like the open area, Midwest desert area. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think makes that community different from people here in Berrien County? We've got trees that would shade. Uh, you know, I just think, and I think where you've got less fenced areas and you got to run power lines... You know, you've got, if you could use solar. Right. That would be an option. Um, what kind of people do you think live in those areas? Like, um, if you think that they adopt more out there than here, what makes those people different from people in, like, Berrien County? I would say it's wide open spaces and you're just taking advantage of where it is. Just like where it's windy, I would expect to see more windmills. Okay. Where there's a lot of rivers, I would expect to see hydropower. I just think you take advantage of your resources. Take advantage of resources. Okay. Um, so let's just talk about, for a minute, in Georgia, this is another map. If you'll circle an area of Georgia where you think people in Georgia would adopt rooftop solar. Hmm. Rooftop solar. Rooftop or just solar? Just rooftop solar, like on your house. Well, I'm say you're going to see more here because there are more people and more rooftops there. Okay, and what makes those people in the Atlanta area more different? There's more roofs and more rooftops. Okay. And they're kind of uh, the uh, hippie type people that don't like fossil fuels too. Okay. Maybe more up to date on newer technologies? If that's a nicer, more political way to say it, okay. Okay. Um, so, do any of your close friends here in Georgia or even in Berrien County, do they? Do you know if they have solar power? I've noticed the one of the local peanut pine points has got solar power on top of their drying sheds, and they're selling it back to the power company. And
And then I have seen a few power farms, farms in the area. Okay, and why do you think they adopted that solar energy? Well, they said it didn't pay for itself in 10 years. So money? Money. Okay. And, and, and it gives you, you know, another option if the power goes out. It's true. You know, especially where there's hospitals and things. Mm hmm Of course, you got the generators, but still. Right. Okay. So, um, now, if you don't mind, we're going to ask a few questions regarding the role of food in your day-to-day -day life. Um, if you don't mind just describing, like, what your meals look like in a day. So, like, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, what do those look like? Breakfast? Mm-hmm. A coat and pack of crackers. Okay. Lunch? Meat and vegetables. Okay. Supper, meat and vegetables. All right, and for lunch, do you go out to eat for lunch? Usually? Often, yes. Okay, and then for like dinner, you eat at home? home. Okay. All right, um, so what would your go-to meal be and why? So maybe it's something you grab in town or something your wife cooks for you at home. What is your go-to meal, like your favorite? Like steak and taters. From home or a restaurant? Hey, yes. <laughs> okay. You know, I mix it up barbecue sometimes. Just meat and a good vegetable or meat two? Meat and good vegetable. Okay. That would be a good way to put it. Alright. Alright, and then how often do you cook your own meals? My wife cooks. Okay. So your wife cooks. Um, and how often does she cook your the meals that you eat? Once a day. Okay. All right. Um, so you've kind of told me that your wife's the only one that cooks. Um, do you help in purchasing the food? I butcher a cow and have it put in the freezer. Okay. But she does most of the grocery shopping and cooking? She does the grocery shopping. But okay. I butcher a cow. You, your role is just consuming the meals, right? All right, um, let's see. So when your wife is purchasing food, what are some things that go into her decision making? You know, maybe it's convenience or time or healthy. Like, what, what do you think she thinks about when she's buying food? Cost. Cost, okay. Help. Quit frying stuff. And I try to tell her to buy local as much. Okay, and buy them local. Okay. And how often do y'all purchase food for your household? Is it so many times a week or a month? How how do y'all do that? As needed. As needed. Okay. Typically, do y'all buy most of your food once a month or just weekly? Bi weekly. Okay. All right. Um. So if. You happen to be taking a trip with her to purchase food, or if she's taking the trip to purchase food, um, you know, what does that look like? Do y'all go out of town? Do y'all stay in town by local? What, what does that look like? Pretty much drop in wherever we're here. If we're in Tifton, we go to Tifton. If we're in Valdosta, we go to Valdosta. Okay. Is it big supermarkets like Walmart or more local grocery stores? We use Gaskins for our meat. Okay. Uh, butcher. Then she uses, she likes Publix. And she's recently where you can call online now that she's got children. Mm -hmm. In the car, you can call Walmart and just pull up and they'll load it for you. The Walmart pickup? Yeah, with children, that makes, with her having the children, that makes it convenient. Oh, yeah. I've done that a couple of times. It's pretty nice. Um, so. When it comes to feeding you and your family, what are some challenges you face? For example, like for me, um, feeding a family would have to do with time because of busy schedules and not having the time to cook a, a meal every night. Um, it could even be the cost of food sometimes. What are some challenges your family faces when y'all are getting ready to feed? I think me wanting to feed up cows and be in the field till dark and the kids at the age need to eat at 6.30. Okay, so time? Time. 
becomes a big factor. Okay. Would you say any other challenges, maybe? No, just time? Okay. All right. She needs to learn to cook like Granny. <laughs>